Mike, you've done all the research much more than me. You had a good jump, and, deserve, and listen, you were due for one. You came through 93 last year. Uh, you know, staying at that number is, you know, it's, it's one thing to get there once in a while. Staying there and being consistent, that makes you a real good, solid organization. That's a little trickier at times. You came from Boston that did that. What's your take about keeping the plateau at 93 and above for the Diamondbacks? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think getting there once is one thing. <clears throat> Being able to do that on a consistent basis is something we're after as an organization. Uh, the guys, everything kind of came together for us last year. I think got a lot of contributions from a lot of different places. Uh, Tory did a phenomenal job, uh, as evidenced by Manager of the Year, uh, and he brought the staff together. Uh, we obviously know where we stand, um, you know, in, in the group of teams and, and what we need to do to continue to improve. Uh, I think, look, collectively in the division, we still have uh, 93 wins, but we're behind the Dodgers by 11 games, you know, and I think that's something that we need to make sure we go into spring training, reminding ourselves of, not to be afraid of, but reminding ourselves of that, you know, what our division looks like. Uh, Giants and, and Padres are going to be even better this year. You know, we're going to have our work cut out for us, and I think if we go out there and, and do what we did last year from a preparation standpoint and, a, you know, an attention to detail and execution, you know, we, we, we should we should be right there in the end, just like we were this year.